Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS level physical geography course. Today we're going to be looking at the Pakistan floods. Where is Karachi and Islamabad? Well Karachi and Islamabad are both located in Pakistan, next to the river Indus, and they were affected by the flood. As you can see Karachi is located in the south and that was the area that was affected mostly by the flood. The river Indus is the river which then flooded and really affected Karachi. So how did the flood actually happen? Well, the flood was caused by a lot of rain from a monsoon. The temperature at sea rose very quickly and caused a lot of water to evaporate. This warm air then moved over Pakistan and it began to rain a lot. So why did the area flood? Well, there was very small drainage relief. The river Indus has a steep drainage basin, so more rain could reach the river at a faster rate, hence causing the discharge to increase. Also, the volume and the intensity of rainfall was very, very powerful. In La Nina episode, the ocean temperatures rose even higher, so as a result, there was a lot of rain, not just from the monsoon, but from all these different climactic events happening at the same time. So, as you can imagine, a lot of rain flooded that river, which exceeded the rate of infiltration. Also, Karachi is relatively urbanised, so a lot of the land restricted drainage, and as a result, the river then just ran off into the channel and all the rain ran off into the channel. Impacts of the flood. One of the environmental impacts is that many trees were destroyed and animals killed. Many farmers lost their crops which is very important because two-thirds of all the jobs in Karachi were actually farmers. A lot of money was spent on rescues and reconstruction. 35 billion pounds. Social impacts are that people were left homeless and roads were closed, which prevented people from getting where they needed to go. Also, hospitals were washed away. 5,000 schools were destroyed as well, which did really affect education. And also, many people did die from these floods. So how did people respond to it? Again, I've divided this up into short-term and long-term effects. The first short-term response is that helicopter rescues took place in order to save people. Roads were closed to prevent people from going into the land, which was flooded. Foreign countries gave aid immediately to Pakistan, and they spent it on temporary housing, such as tents for everyone there. A clean-up operation was instantly conducted, costing £400 million. The council issued a rebuilding plan for the city, which cost £10 billion in the long term, and also it issued a replanting plan to restore all of the trees lost in the original flood. These are some questions on the Pakistan floods in Karachi. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper and pause the video to give yourself time. Hit play to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on hard engineering river management techniques. As always, thank you so much for watching and good luck in your exams. I'll see you next time.